Alrighty, check it out. There's three of my favorite things in the whole world. You know, some pesto, some pasta, and a nice lady to cook it up. You know, it doesn't get any better than that. For this recipe, we're going to use some pine nuts. You know, we're going to go ahead and toast them up. And you want to be super duper careful toasting these pine nuts up. You know, it's only going to take a couple of minutes, you know, a few minutes. And watch them like a hawk because you don't want to burn your nuts. You never want to burn your nuts. But you especially don't want to burn your pine nuts because they cost an arm and a leg, right? But if you're going to use a nice ingredient like that, you're sure going to use some uh, freshly grated Parmesan cheese, right? You don't want to skimp on the cheese. But you can skimp a little bit on the basil, you know. Two cups of packed basil if you want. But we're going to do one cup of packed basil and one cup of packed spinach. Now go ahead in your food processor. We're going to go ahead and, and start to break down our pine nuts and our garlic. Give it a couple of pulses. Start to get those things blended up. And then we're going to throw in some salt and pepper and some red pepper flakes. You don't have to put in the red pepper flakes, but we do, you know, follow your heart, right? The zest of one lemon and the juice of one lemon. And then you can go ahead and throw your basil and spinach leaves in there. Now we had a little rinky-dink uh, processor, so we're just going to have to add these things uh, incrementally. You know, and pulse it up and push it down and put more leaves in there. But you know, if you've got a big old processor, you can just throw it all in there. You know, but whatever kind of processor you've got, you know, however long it takes you to do it. Ultimately, you want to get it to this stage right here. You know, nice and blended. And then we're going to add some oil. Now you're going to end up putting in about a half a cup of oil up to uh, three quarters of a cup of oil, you know, that kind of range right there. But don't just haul off and throw in three quarters of a uh, cup of oil. You know, do it incrementally, you know, and, and taste it and test it out, you know, and get it to the right taste and smoothness that you like it. And then once your pesto meets your standards, then you can go ahead, take it out of your food processor, put it in a little bowl, and then we're going to go ahead and add the Parmesan cheese and just mix that in by hand. And at this point, you know, once you get your cheese mixed in there, boom, that's it. Your pesto is done. You can do whatever the hell you want with your pesto. We're going to make a pesto pasta tonight. So go ahead and get whatever kind of pasta you like and then make it according to whatever directions, you know, for that pasta. And then once your pasta is cooked up, go ahead and reserve a little bit of the pasta water because we're going to use that as part of our sauce later. And then just drain the pasta. Don't rinse the pasta because you'll be rinsing away uh, all that flavor and richness. You know, just drain it and then go ahead and throw your pot back on the stove and put your uh, pasta right back in there. And then we're going to go ahead and add the pesto and stir that around. But it's going to be too pesto -y. It's not going to be uh, thin enough for a uh, sauce. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in just a wee little bit of the pasta water you know so do that just a little bit at a time because you don't want it to be too thin or at least I don't like it thin I like a nice thick pesto sauce so I just add a little itsy bitsy teeny tiny bit of the pasta water back in there but you know just once you get it to that consistency that you like then that's it boom there you have it that's your pesto pasta top it with some parmesan cheese and then there you go Looks muy fantastico great job camera girl so you mixed up some uh, spinach with your basil mm -hmm. you can use spinach or you can use kale now we okay. use pine nuts but pine nuts are super duper expensive what else yes. can you do you can use um roast the big thing is roasting the nuts it adds a little flavor walnuts are pretty good almonds but really you can use anything well there you have it ma'am give this pesto recipe a try you know, make it up in some pesto pasta if you want. That's a great way to have it. But uh, give it a go. Let us know what you think. And bon appetit. Alrighty, like this video if you like this video. And uh, if you're a sharing, caring type of person, you can share it. If you want to print it, go to myfoodchannel.com and you can click it and print it there. There's a link for that below in the description. Or if you just want to look at the written recipe, that's down below too. Thanks for watching and uh, boom, boom, boom.